Welcome to Heaven Awaits. If this is your first time checking this channel out, I'm glad to have you here. My name is Jen, and I will be filling in for Lee until he comes back. As Lee did before me, I too will be narrating the near-death experiences of those who have died and have seen the other side. These videos are meant to bring hope to a sometimes hopeless world and to show people that there is indeed life after death. If you enjoy these videos, please consider hitting the thumbs up, subscribe, and bell icons to be notified of new content. Doing so is free, and it does help the channel grow. To the return viewers, welcome back. Sit back, relax, grab a cup of coffee or tea, and enjoy today's narration. Today's experience was posted to the IANS website. Unfortunately, most posts to IANS are anonymous, so we do not know her name. All that we know is her experience, and in her experience, she explains how issues with bradycardia have caused her to experience life-threatening arrhythmias. It is during one of these experiences that she dies and finds herself surrounded by the love of God. One of the hardest things to do after an NDE is to put such an experience into words. I will try my best. So I ask with all God's love to stay with me while I tell my experience. My NDE was about eight years ago, but according to the realness of it, it was yesterday, in a different form of time. I had an arrhythmia where my heart would pause during sleep. My cardiologist said it paused four times on the 24-hour heart monitor, so referred me to an arrhythmia specialist. I went to the specialist and was told I have bradycardia and Mobitz-1. He mentioned a pacemaker and blood pressure medication, but I didn't do it. He asked me if I was taking any medications for my heart to beat so slowly during sleep. I was averaging 36 beats per minute. I said no, nothing. A short time later, I got sick with a fever, but not due to the arrhythmia. I'm hypersensitive to a lot of medicines and other medications, so I'm careful what I take. When I'm sick, my arrhythmia acts up and my heart can slow more. I took aspirin for the first time, which slowed my heart in my sleep to a complete stop. How long? I cannot say. But the experience was more information learned in a matter of seconds than the time to learn here. With all the different experiences people have and how they begin is so hard to put into words. I just remember going. I guess we call it traveling here. It just happened so fast. I felt everything he is God. I saw the light I was in it, this light. It's not something you just see and look at. It's like your whole self becomes your vision, and a new depth of how feelings are absorbed is unimaginable. It is the cure for everything we suffer from here. Everyone here does things for fixes or to feel good, etc., and so many don't know how to stop their addictions and get rid of painful things we endure. And God's love, oh so powerful, is the cure. In God's love, there is a whole new meaning to the word love. This is not the light of the sun— the sun is beautiful and warm and serves many purposes, but that is the sun. This light is different. It is God, and the love that it is, you now would understand the meaning of the word love. We here do not practice the full meaning of love all at once. We love, but with restrictions. God is the full definition of the word, and the word love to God is more than a word. When you've experienced God's love and that love is with you, you will see and look at people differently than you did before. One thing I'd like to say also is that in God's world, and I'm meaning in God's love, no one is left uncared for. No one, any patient you see in a hospital or someone needing care at any time, that person is all of our responsibility. It is our job to love one another without restriction. Nothing stops love in God's world. There are no questionable thoughts whatsoever before helping someone in need or just being loved. And I can say that God does know that we are not all fully experienced in the meaning of love, so we cannot judge everyone, which is so hard not to. We are all human. We have brains, and we tend to think in separation. But God is not a separation. He is everything at once, and He is in everything. When you're on the beach with your toes in the sand, He is in that smallest piece of sand. I can go on forever. But my experience was so wonderful and sometimes hard because I have very few people I can relate to. I express myself mostly through doing things that I love to do, without words or talking. I better express myself through music and thinking. 
Since my experience, I started building things, and my interest in nature and flowers, plants, and animals is so strong. During my experience, I wanted to stay where I was and go further, but I was completely shut out, lights off, and I can't come here. This place of God was right above me, and I can't explain that. I woke up, and my heart was beating. I opened my eyes, and the room looked different. The walls, doorways, etc. This place looked just like what it is. Everything is just. The door is a door, and the wall is a wall. So when you're coming back from perfection and God's light and love, yeah, everything is just. I was still feeling sick, but not nearly as bad. But I brought something back with me, and it was the greatest gift in the world. The love I felt from God was still with me, and I tell you, I loved everybody. I was more patient. Jealousy? What's that? Anger? No way. God has none. All meaning of love was with me, and it was all at once without separation, and you didn't even have to be a family member to be loved by me. I smiled all the time and looked at everybody, going this way and that way, driving all mopey, and all I can think to myself was, wow. We are all unaware that we don't die. People are totally unaware of it all. I could probably write forever, but my experience goes so much further. When you have an experience, you come back with so much to say and there's so much you want to give. But it's hard because not everybody understands love, and people want to be loved, but it's in their form of what love is. Animals will take your love completely without separation, but people's egos separate so much. When people get sick or they're dying and their egos get weaker, that's when they're ready to take your full attention and love. So in God's way, without getting hurt or angry, just keep loving with all your heart. That does it for today's experience. Though it was posted anonymously to the IANS website, this lady discusses what many people have seen during their near-death experiences. She discusses the feelings of being in God's love. I believe that she is right, that when our bodies die, our spirits live. What did all of you think? Let us know in the comment section below. Until next time, stay safe and continue to be blessed. Thank you all for sticking around to join me in thanking those who were kind enough to donate to the channel via Super Thanks or by buying Lee a coffee. The list is fairly big, so stick with me as I get through everything. Let's get on with it. Meredith Elise Piercing the Veil Roy Harris Richard Scott Dr. Neha Nurse The English Professor Robert Pothast Elaine and Tawangwa. I am so sorry if I mispronounced your name. If I did, please let me know how it is meant to be pronounced, and I will give you another shout-out in the next video. Thank you all once again for your kindness, and as always, thank each and every one of you who continue to watch these videos. I just don't see Heaven Awaits being what it is today, without all of you. So once again, thank you all.